Stay tuned. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I wanted to shoot a bit of a different video today from a lot of the other stuff I've shot. I've shot a lot of 6.2 videos and thought do something a little bit different. Um, so what we're going to look at today is this. What this is, for those who can't, who don't know, is this is a Bun VPR coffee pot. Um, you'll see a lot of these in hospitals, in restaurants, um, office buildings, different places like that. So you might be asking yourself, well, why is this in a home setting? And I'll get into that. But first, before we get into that, I kind of wanted to show you how this works because it's not the same as your traditional Mr. Coffee or Black & Decker or any of your home coffee pots. It's a little bit different. Um, so what you'll see here is two different switches. Um, none of these actually have anything to do with the control of the water. All they are is simply warmer switches. This one controls this warmer up here and this one controls the warmer down here. Um, to put, to get this thing going, all you do is you pour water in this kind of screened in area right here and then it starts flowing out. So I'm gonna try and do this one handed but not being able to see we're gonna see how much mess I've got. We're gonna see how much mess I make. Um, normally I do this two-handed. I put one hand here and then I pour with the other hand, but we're gonna see what kind of mess we can make. All right, here we go. So then as you can see, the water's coming out, comes into the pot here through this filter basket. And uh, it'll make as much coffee as you pour in water. So I might have poured in about, I don't know, an eighth, quarter. I had this about half full. Um, by the way, um, let's see. Yeah, probably a quarter. But these come with two different style pots. Um, a glass one like you see here. And then this metal and plastic one that you see here. Um, I per personally like the glass better it doesn't give you any off taste or anything with the coffee um so that's that's why i i prefer the glass and then all i use for coffee is just regular folders nothing special so a lot of people might be wondering why on god's green earth would you buy something like this when you can go to walmart you can buy Mr. Coffee or Black & Decker for 50 to 100 bucks. Well, here's the reasoning behind why I got this. One, I like my coffee quick. I don't like to wait any more than five, eight minutes. Um, I'm, a bit of a, I'm a bit of a coffee snob like that. And two, I like crap that, does, that doesn't break. Um, these things in an industrial setting will generally last quite a while. Um, I've I've seen one I've seen a couple that are thirty years old or better and still going. So I figure I can buy this, um, pay a bit more for it, um, and it'll last me quite a while. And it uh, the other nice thing about these very little plastic this is all stainless steel 
this is plastic, but um, you can get a uh, stainless steel filter basket for them. Uh, the only other thing I'd say to note about these is the coffee filters are way bigger. Um, you can see that that's way bigger than your average filter that you'd get for your normal machine. But um, you can get them in cases of like 500 or 1,000. So I mean, it's a little bit more pricier than your two, three dollars that you spend at, um, you know, Walmart or whatever for your package of filters. But um, they last you a long time. The uh, other thing uh, that's different about these, if I can get it here, is this rod here. What this is, is this is a cleaning rod. Um, shove that back in there. Make sure this isn't dripping. It's not. So you pull out the filter basket and you can see up under here, I'm hoping you can see that, there's this shower head that where the water comes out and it screws off. So then what you do is you screw that off. I'm not going to because it's hot. Um, is you screw that off and you can shove that rod up in there and it's flexible. And then you can clean all the hard water deposits out and whatnot so then they don't plug up. The only downside that I would say to this is um, these things do probably suck up a bit more electricity because in this black part here, it's all a big tank full of hot water. So this is constantly on, like I said before. All these switches do is turn your elements on and off and that's it. But, you know, I really like the build quality of it. I bought this thing secondhand and got it for a pretty good deal. You can get them on Amazon uh, for around 250. Yeah, I'd say for about 250. But the only piece of doing it that way is bun kind of nickels and dimes you a little bit. You get, um, when you buy them new, generally I don't think they come with the pot. You gotta buy that separate. But often, um, if you pick them up secondhand, like I did, you can um, get them with the pots. So that's not a bad deal. And I guess the last point to make here, the other reason that I like these, besides them being fast and them built like a brick chicken house, is they're fixable. Um, you can go online and pretty much order all the parts to completely rebuild this, which I which I really like. Um, whereas like say your Mr. Coffee or whatever you got, your Keurigs, as soon as they're done, you throw them out, you go to your big box retailer and you buy another one. To me, that's just a waste of money, but that's me. So, and I guess the last con I can think of, depending who you are, you might not like this stainless steel industrial look. Um, you know, it might, it, it, it might look a little bit off in the home, but I mean, hey, most of the other appliances around here are stainless steel. So I go, why not? So that's kind of my video about the Bun VPR and the reason I bought it and why I like it. And hopefully maybe it'll help somebody considering about buying one of these. Um, I guess one other point, Bun does make a home unit that's much smaller, fits great on a countertop. You don't need a table for it in the sense the same way that you do with this. Um, but to me, their build quality, once again, is cheaper. Um, the outside's all plastic and whatnot, so, whereas this thing's all stainless steel, you know, if you need to clean it, take a rag, wipe it off, it's good to go. So, but, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Maybe 
it helped you to decide, hey, I seen one of these on Craigslist or on Kijiji if you're up here in Canada. And really, if you like coffee and you're like me and you live off the stuff, go out, invest in it, buy yourself one of these. You'll love it for life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.